Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And if you're looking behind me, that is my Code Blocks Fun Fidget. Friends, they're a ton of fun, but if you don't design them right, they don't print right. I've got a way to double check that we're correct. So let's get cracking. So everybody, of course, you need to create the fidget first. So if you look up above in the cards, you will find the first lesson. Once you're done with the first lesson, we're going to add in a part so that we don't get this. This is a fidget that doesn't spin. And if you look in the middle, that center is filled. It doesn't have the gap that makes this work. This one has the same problem. It didn't get broken open, so I can't show you. But this is what they're supposed to look like when you're done. You can hold them and then you can spin them like this. They're just a really fun, cute fidget and they also show us how to print in place. Even though this is two pieces, it prints all at one and then when you're done, you take it off the printer and you've got your own fun fidget. So friends, make sure you've got that completed and here is how to do the fix. Earlier we created a inside. Notice solid, 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 solid. The words are a whole and we cut them out. We also had the outside where it went solid and then it had to be whole, whole, whole. And then finally we created a group and then out here we made the hole that cuts out the edges. That's the trick. The mistake people had is that any of these could have been left solid. And if you did, that breaks the fidget. So this is really the fix. So my plan, friends, is to create a brand new object called test. Bring this out, rename it, type test, tell it OK. And then we're going to add a copy of the two objects. I'm going to just duplicate so it's faster. So I've got those two. And when we go to data, we want a copy of the inside and we want a copy of the outside. Then I want you to go to shapes and I want you to bring out a box. We're going to make this box really tall. So change its height to 40. We will keep the 20 by 20. We're going to make it a hole and we're going to raise it up. So bring out your move command. And since it's 40 high, that means we need to change Z by 20. I also need you to take Y and make it negative 10. So the cube is going to come out towards us. And then of course we need to make it a group. And then we need to get rid of our copies. So bring out the delete object, right click and duplicate it. Remember we go back to our data and we need to get rid of the original inside and the original outside. At this point, friends, when you click over here and hit play, we get to see what the finished design should look like. If you check this out, there is a groove all the way around so that when this prints, the inside will never be connected and it'll spin. Now, the nice thing about this is watch, I can click up here and break it. So this is the mistake students were making when we hit play. Boom, you can all of a sudden see the broken one with the center that's fused. So this is a great way for you to double check and make sure that your project looks fantastic. When you can hit play and show me or your neighbors that yours is perfect, well then you're ready to actually send yours to the 3D printer folder. Now at this point we need to throw this out. So make sure you show me, maybe take a screenshot of this so you can prove it was right. Throw out your test and then hit reset and play again so you can see your finished one. When it works like that, you can then hit export STL and you need to save it to the STL folder. Now in some classes, you may email that to your teacher. In my class, under quick access, we hit the STL folder and we name it. I'm gonna put fidget MDH and I'm gonna put V4 and then also type the color that you like. I've got colors like blue, red, purple, gray. You can type the color after it. If I have a chance, I will use that. If not, you'll get the color that I've got available because there are only so many 3D printers and I want everybody to have their own fun fidgets. Friends, if you found this useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.